fly me to the moon. The summer of 1969 was a cauldron of ambition and anxiety. At the heart of it all was NASA's Kennedy Space Center, where the world's eyes were fixed on the Apollo 11 mission. For launch director Cole Davis, a man as grounded as the rockets he commanded, this was the culmination of a lifetime's work. But his meticulously planned universe was about to be invaded by a force as unpredictable as space itself, Kelly Jones. A whirlwind of energy and ambition, Kelly was a public relations guru parachuted in by the White House to humanize NASA. With her perfectly coiffed hair, designer suits, and a vocabulary that leaned heavily on buzzwords, she was a stark contrast to the khaki-clad engineers and scientists that populated the space center. To Cole, she was an alien life form that had crash-landed in his carefully constructed world. Their first encounter was a collision of personalities. Cole, a man of science and precision, was appalled by Kelly's suggestion of a moon landing fashion show. Kelly, in turn, found Cole's rigid adherence to procedure stifling. Their clashes were legendary, providing comic relief to the intense pressure cooker environment. Behind the bickering, however, a mutual respect began to develop. Kelly, for all her superficiality, possessed a sharp mind and a genuine passion for the mission. Cole, under her prodding, began to see the importance of public engagement. Together, they formed an unlikely partnership, their differences complementing each other in unexpected ways. As the launch date approached, the stakes rose. The world was watching, and the pressure on the NASA team was immense. A failed mission would be a national disaster. The White House, sensing the gravity of the situation, demanded perfection. This added a new layer of stress to Cole's already fraught existence. Kelly, to her credit, rose to the challenge. She transformed the public's perception of NASA, turning the space agency into a household name. Her infectious enthusiasm was contagious, and she managed to unite a nation behind the mission. But as the countdown clock ticked down, personal tensions between Cole and Kelly reached a boiling point. A misunderstanding, fueled by exhaustion and stress, led to a major argument. Their relationship hung in the balance. In the end, it was the shared dream of human achievement that brought them back together. As they stood side by side, watching the Saturn V rocket pierce the sky, they realized that their differences had been dwarfed by the magnitude of the moment. When Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon were broadcast to a global audience, the world erupted in joy. For Cole and Kelly, it was a moment of triumph, both personal and professional. Their journey had been fraught with challenges, but it had also been a catalyst for growth and transformation. As the echoes of, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, reverberated around the world, Cole and Kelly shared a look that spoke volumes. In that moment, under the glow of the moonlit sky, they knew that their story was just beginning. To be continued.